Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, I have brought you a 10 secret commands in AutoCAD that you must know to increase your productivity. So if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe this channel for the updates like this. Now we are going to start with the tool that is known as the overkill. So overkill will going to delete the overlap lines. Overlap lines are very major problem when you are dealing with a a 3d or if you are creating a 3d model in autocad if you if there are overlapped line then they will not going to be extruded so at that time what we have to do we have to just search for the overlap line and then we have to delete it manually if you want but there is a tool that will going to delete the overlap line and that is known as overkill so you have to type type overkill in the command box and you can see that uh broom like structure will going to open and you just have to click on that and a dialog box will go okay so it will going to ask you to just select the objects so i'm going to select all the object at once and then i'm going to press enter once you press the enter you can see that a dialog box will going to open so here you can just ignore some of the lines let's say that there are layers that then the layers basically uh, the objects are in different layer that is overlapped you can just do that you can even ignore the color thickness line type skills different ignoring properties are there and here you can see that some more options are there like if the lines are collinear and they are partially overlapped then it will going to be combine them and similarly it will going to combined when they are aligned end to end so if you don't want this to be done you can just untick mark over this radio button but if you want all of them you can just make it okay and that's it you can see that now this object will not going to contain any overlap lines so this is one of the tool to remove the overlapped lines and that is known as the overkill The next tool that we are going to talk is known as the text mask. So it will going to create a mask around the text. So let's say that there is one text over here and I'm going to place this text inside this box. Now there are hatches inside this box. So the hatches are overlapping this text. Now let's say that you don't want this text to be overlapped with hatch. You want it to be clearly visible. So at that time you can just have a mask on this text. So how to make it? You just have to type text mask text mark sorry on the command box and then you just have to select the text so i'm going to select the text over here and then i have to press the enter button you can see that it will going to be marked up with a box like wipe out option over uh, wipe out wipe out things over here you can see that it has been marked so this is the text mask you can just apply a text mask so that the text will going to be clearly visible and you can have many masks over many type of masks over here basically just go for the text marks over here and just make it enter and there's a marks type option you can just select it and here right now the wipe out is selected that's why it is going to it will going to wipe out uh, all the things behind this text but if you want it to be in the solid you can just select a solid and you can just select any of the color let's say that you want a red color or yellow color then you can just select a yellow color and just select the text then and just make it enter and now you can see that it has been marked with the yellow color strip so this is what text marks will going to do for you the next is a very important tool and plays a lot of important role in some of the design cases and that is known as the grouping here you can see that there are a lot of similar kind of structure but let's say that you want this circle this circle and this circle to have the same operation that uh, you want let's say that you want it to be scaled to two times and i want these three circles to be done so at that time you can have two options either you can just select one by one and you can just perform those operations or either you can just group them together into a single group and whatever operation that you performed in this group will going to be reflect on all the items of that group so that is known as grouping so how to make it grouping you can see that there is a group tab over here with the help of which you can just make it select items that you want to be in, in inside that group let's say that i want to select these five circles and from here you can just click on this group and you can see that the moment you clicked on that here you can see that an unnamed group has been created if i'm going to hover around any one of the circle of the group you can see that all the circles are being displayed it means that they are inside that group you can just move them let's say that you want to move them 
you can just select a move command and it will going to move it will going to move together like this you can even perform a copy option and all the thing will going to be copied at once so like this and like this so you can even have scale you can even have the mirror so everything in the group will going to be basically performed in all the groups uh, all the instances of that group now let's say that you want to add more items to this group then you can just select that group and there is a group edit option over here you can see that you can just click on this group edit option and you can have two options like you can want to add up an object so i'm going to click on the add up i can just select another item and you can see that now it has been grouped it, that it is inside that group similarly if you want to remove an item you can just remove it and it will going to be removed and if you want to rename it that also you can do and similarly if you you can see that now it is selecting in a group but let's say that you want to individually select an item so how to do that you can just turn off that group you can just unturn off this from this group selection option and now they has the they they are not in a group basically the group option is turned off and now they can be independently edit and once you have done you can just turn on the group and now again they are inside the group if you want to delete the group let's say that you want to remove that group you can just select a remove option over here click on the ungroup option and they will now ungrouped so this is all about the group option now we are going to see the tool that is known as sketch sketch tool is used to create the flexible designs or uh, freehand designs so how to do that you have to type sketch in the command box and just press enter and the moment you clicked on that you can see that the click of in the click of the mouse a uh, random out of uh, a sketch will going to start and this is a very flexible design it is basically moving with your mouse and right now it is in a green color and once you stop once you want to discontinue this or you want to exit this sketch just press the enter button and now it has been changed to a white color you can see that a flexible design or a flexible shape will going to create so freehand design you can just create it using the sketch tool if you start the ortho mode and if you start the sketch mode now then you can see that a very much line kind of structure is creating so if you start the ortho mode and then it it will going to create a small small lines like this now just click on the sketch and just right press enter and inside the sketch okay just inside the sketch you will see that there is a type option just click on that and you can just select a line from here and now what will going to happen if i'm going to create a sketch now then you can see that it will going to create a line kind of structure it means that it will going to be independently selected so here you can see that i have created it and these are basically created using the line type basically lines and similarly you can have the polylines as well you can just select a polyline or a spline so these are the three types with the help of which you can just create the sketch the next tool is known as the super hatch so with the help of super hatch you can just create a custom pattern in the hatch so for that you just have to type a super hatch over here just type a super hatch just make it enter and a super hatch box will going to open from here you can see that you can just select these types of pattern like image block reference wipe out so these are different patterns the most important or the most proper a popular one is the image you can just like create or you can just import a custom image as a hatch pattern so i'm going to click on the image and then it will going to open a folder and you have to browse it where you have saved it like i in the desktop i have this car uh, basically a design of a car then i can just select it i can just make it open and it will going to attach it will going to ask you to attach that image just make it okay and you can see that from here you can just scale this one like i want a very small scale of this car like over here you can see that like this and once i put it you can see that it will ask you that is the placement of the image is acceptable you just press yes button and now it will going to specify the internal points you have to select this uh, want to specify it just select the internal point in uh, internal point inside the figure just make it enter then and then you have to wait for a while 
and you can see that the moment uh, you, it it will going to import a basically a pattern of that image as a hatch so this is how with the help of super hatch you can just import an image or any file as a pattern type The next command is known as the point and point style with the help of which you can just create points and you can just change the style of the points like just go for the modify from here and from here you will see that there is a tool okay so there is a inside this draw you will see that there is a point tool and in the draw tool uh, or in the point inside you will see that there are two types the one is known as single point just click on that click on anywhere and a small dot will going to be created you can see that this is the point that i am talking about Similarly, if you want to create multiple points, you can just go for this draw toolbar again. There's a point, just select multiple points. On the clicks, you can see that points are creating. But if you want to change the pattern of the point, then you have to go inside the point style. For that, you just have to click on this format and there's a point style tool. You just have to click on that and a dialog box will going to open. From here, you can just select any of the pattern like this pattern I want. So I have selected this pattern and there's a point size option. So there are two options. We are going to talk about that also. But point size, it needs it is 5% of the skin, screen. So right now it is set size related to the screen. So this is selected. So if I'm going to make it OK, you can see that the points has been changed. And if I'm going to zoom out the screen, the point size has been increasing like with the basically the screen. You can see that. If uh, if the points are not getting small, you just have to type region over here and the points will going to be changed. But if you want a constant size, then you just have to go for the point style again. And let's say that you don't want it to increase or decrease with the screen. Then you just select this absolute and then you have to select that absolute value. And now if I'm going to make it OK, then the point will not going to be changed. You can see that if I'm going to zoom in and zoom out, the point is not getting changed. Its size is basically is constant. So that's because of this second option that I have selected. Just make it five and the point will going to look better. So this is all about the point and point style. The next tool is known as QDIM. With the help of that, you can just select the object first and then after the dimension will going to be put up. So from this conventional dimension option, you can just click on the dimension that you want to have. Then just select the object and the dimension will going to be placed. But let's say that you want to select multiple objects and then after you want to provide a dimension, then that at that case, you have to select a tool that is known as QuickDIM. Or you have to type QDIM on the command box just make it enter and it will going to ask you to select the geometries so i'm going to select let's say that i want to select the circles first so i have selected all the circles just make it enter and you can see that from here it will automatically going to show up the dimension but let's say that you want the radius so i'm going to click on this radius and you can see that it will going to provide the radius of all the circle at once so here like this one this one and this one so all the circles will going to have the dimension at once similarly you can just select the QDIM again and you have to select the lines let's say that i have selected these lines and just make it once you have select all the lines that you want to have the dimension just press enter and they will going to be placed you can see that the dimension will going to be placed all at once so this is all about the quick team tool Now the next tool is known as the arc align text so with the help of which you can just align a text along an arc so for that i'm going to create create one arc first and let's say that i want to write a text that will going to be aligned in the with this arc so at that time we are going to select the arc text so how to select an arc text you just go for this express tool and express tab basically from here and there's an arc aligned option as well or you can just directly write in the command box click on that and the dialog box it will go, basically it will going to ask you to select the arc so i'm going to select this arc and a dialog box will going to open from here you can just write the text like this is an autocad autocads class autocads please subscribe Okay. So I have written this and then from here we can just change the height. Let's say that I want to change it to one and just make it okay. And now you can see that it will going to be written around this 
arc so you can see that this is an autocad class and it is written please subscribe so please do subscribe as well if you have liked this video then please do like it and subscribe it and so you can see that this is how you can just arc align the text The next tool is known as multi-line and multi-line edit or you can simply say that ml edit as well as ml so how to draw a multi-line so from here you can just click on this draw and you will see that there's a multi-line tool just click on that and if you are going to create a line now you can see that the line is not a single line basically it is a double line it's a multi-line we are going to see how to edit it at, as well later on but you can see that this is how you can just create a multi-line and if I'm going to create two multi lines, let's say that they are intersecting like this and this with the help of ML edit, which is multi line edit, just type ML edit inside this dialog box, the command box. And you can see that a dialog box will going to open. And this is a very important and a magical kind of thing. With the help of this, you can just create patterns if the two lines are intersecting like let's say that you assume it to be a road and you can just let's say that you want to have an open cross click on the open cross select the two lines and you can see that an open cross will going to be created so with the help of ml edit you can just change the multi line and you can just create like uh, the things like this we are going to see one more patterns so just go for the ml edit again m l e d i t just make it enter and let's say that you want this cross so i'm going to select this one and this one you can see that now it is overlapping the other one so with the help of this ml edit you can just have many patterns if they are intersecting together like the corner joints also you can just provide like just select this and this and it will going to be cornered so this is all about the ml and ml edit So the last tool of this lecture is known as the multi-line style. So in the previous lecture we have seen or in the previous tool that we have seen is the ML tool which is the multi-line and we have seen the multi-line edit. Now we have seen that it will going to create only two lines but we can edit it. We can create multiple lines as the name suggests. So how do we can do that? For that we have to go for this format and inside that you will see that there is a multi-line style. Click on the multi-line style. You can just create a new style. Just name it as AutoKids let's say. Just make it enter and you can just add up more lines. Let's say that you can want to add a more line. You can just add a more line like in the zero which is in the center it will going to add up this line and you can even change its color. Let's say that you want to change this color or you want to change it to red you can just do a red you can even change its line type i can just load a zigzag line let's say so i have just selected a zigzag line over here similarly i'm going to add one more line and this will be at an offset of let's say that two okay so add modify it and this at offset of two and from here i'm going to change this color to yellow so once then you have to make it okay and you can see that this is how the your line is looking like so select an auto cuts over here just make it okay and now if i'm going to create a multi-line just go for the draw just create a multi-line and you can see that okay so we have to select that multi-line so how to select it for that you just have to go for this format again multi-line style select auto cuts and you can say, say that it will going to have the set current click on this and now if i'm going to create a multi-line you can see that it will going to have that line which we have created so you can see that it contains a zigzag line, a yellow line and two lines that is there. So th with the help of this multi-line style, you can just create your own multiple lines with different types of line and different colors. So these are all 10 tricks that you should know in AutoCAD and this will going to help you in increasing your productivity. I hope that you like this video. If you have liked this, then please do press the like button and subscribe this channel for the updates like this. See you inside the new lecture.